What's up lads, welcome back to another video, the match reaction for the match, uh, semi-final between Leicester and Southampton, 1-0 to Leicester ended and our season ends with um, nothing for about the 40th year in a row, uh, I don't think we've won anything major now since 45 years ago and yeah it's not good enough, that was an awful performance. Uh, when they went 1-0 up, we did nothing. We had a, like a five minute period maybe after they scored where we maybe could have scored. But we didn't, we don't, I don't think we had a shot in the last half an hour. Which is, in, um, it's shocking from Ralph to not uh, get the players get forward. It's shocking from Ward Prowse on the captain on the pitch to not say we have to get forward and get a goal. Because that's what we had to do. You know, we had to score otherwise we're out. And we didn't score an hour out. Seasons are done again for another season with nothing happening. Uh, well, we could get relegated at this rate, but at the end of the day, Leicester are a good team, and it would have been a shock if we beat them, but oh, to be honest, I wasn't even really impressed by what with them, to be honest, they were all right uh, when we put them under pressure, They and that was the difference, you know, when both sides play, were playing high presses, and we, did, we didn't deal with that, and they did quite easily, in fact, as well. Um, I don't think we had a shot on target the whole game, um, and it's just um, shocking, really. Um, I thought, yeah, it's just, you know, it was. I said it was going to be a one goal game, and it was a one goal game, and it went to Leicester. Um, silly goal. Benarek gets turned so easily, man. He he needs to be dropped because he's been so bad since the turn of the year. Salasu, I think he did one good block when he came on. He can't be any worse than Benarek's been in the past few games. Teller, I think, needs to be given a good go. Um, Adams needs to come back into the team starting eleven. That is, um. And to players up like, uh, Benrek, Redmond, Walcott, they should all be dropped because they have not been good enough the past few games. Bertrand as well, I think, but there's no one, there's no other left back, so he literally can't be dropped. I mean, we have to be looking at options in many positions this summer, left back being one of them. I mean, Bertrand's probably going to leave on a free th anyway, but I do think uh, a new left back needs to be brought in in the summer, but that's for a whole new video. Um, but I'll probably talk about them in my season review at the end of the season. And it's just so depressing after the superb start we had to the season, being top of the league, and it has to end like this. I know technically it's not over, but what are we going to achieve this season other than a max and mid-table finish? We could probably still get relegated. You know what I mean? It's not good enough. Um, we've got tough running as well. We could literally still be relegated. It's not uh, against the realm of possibility, which is so, so depressing considering the start of the season we had you know I really thought we were going to go places this season we were as I said top of the league I think as late as January we were uh in the top after that win against Liverpool 1-0 we were sixth I think and we've won two league games since then since the 4th of January we've won we've won two league games since the 4th of January and I think 15 it, and we've lost 11 I think of the, we've lost 11 of the last 14 league games I know this FA Cup run was a welcome distraction, but the point of getting to the semi-finals, it means nothing if you're just going to play like that in the semi-final. You might as well just have lost in the third round if that's going to be the case. The point of this season was if we're not going to do well in the league, we get the cup, we at least get to the final, and we give ourselves something to remember this season for. Again, it's going to be another season that goes down. Same old, you know, tick off the 9 year loss, tick off the mid-table finish. Probably won't even get that this season. Um... I do feel like I'm, I will do a video soon about just this whole situation that's been going on. Uh, what's gone wrong since January? I mean, injuries have been a big issue, but we had a full squad today apart from Romeo, Obafemi and Smallbone. It's not good enough. We just look... Diallo, fair play to him, he played all right today. Um, but we just look uh, so depleted. We just don't look as dangerous with Romeo in the midfield as we do with Diallo. Diallo, maybe he's going to come on next season, but he just looks a bit inexperienced. But the thing is, when we went one down, we didn't take risks. We didn't go for it. We didn't try to get a goal. We played it safe, which you can't do in a semi-final when you're 1-0 down. You need to get a goal. At least one goal you need to get. Um, and I thought um, even bringing Walker Peters off was a silly decision because what if we got a goal and it went to extra time? Who are you playing at right back? Can Ethan Teller for another half an hour? You know what I mean? It's uh, I think that was a very poor decision, but I was actually surprised to see when we went 1-0 down, uh, Adams being subbed on pretty much straight away. I was really surprised to see that considering Ralph hardly makes any early subs. Um, but again, I think Redmond had another poor display. He's very quiet. Ings was very quiet. 
Um, again, we just Leicester defended well, and we didn't. But the thing is, we didn't give them much to do. We, I, don't, I said, don't think we had a shot on target the whole game. Um, and again, as I said, it's just a frustrating thing. It's another season that's ended in nothing now. Um, again, even to get to the cup final, at least this could have been this season could have been remembered for something. And I know it's a tough ask against a lesser team that third in the league, but. As I said, I think Chelsea have got an easy win in the final if, they, if Leicester played like that because I wasn't totally blown away with them. They did play all right, but, you know, compared to Chelsea, they're nothing really. Um, and, you know, if we did play Chelsea in the final, we got there and they get to the Champions League final. You know, they, we, they've got something to concentrate on over the FA Cup and that probably would have been our only chance. But again, we blow it again. We, we didn't take risks. As, as I said, I don't think we had a shot for the last half an hour. That's not good enough. It really isn't. We only brought in attacking subs in the 85th minute. It's not, again, I keep saying this, it's not good enough. And, you know, we need to start going places, whether that starts with the club. Uh, I think the next season, some big transfers need to be brought in this summer, um, starting with goalkeeper. I just I don't think any of them are good enough. Forster, I don't think he's good enough. McCarthy, not good enough. Gunn, not good enough. We've seen all three of them, and we've seen how uh, their highs, you know, out of force, they were great. He was England's number one for a had a bit of time. McCarthy got a few England, uh, got one England cap, I think, and at the start of the season, I thought was playing really well. Um, but it's just he was so poor when he got dropped from Forster. I don't think he's much better, to be honest. Um, new goalkeeper need to bring brought in in the summer. Left back as well, I think. Maybe centre back potentially as well, and definitely midfielder, I think as well. Maybe possibly even a striker. Um, again, we just. Uh, I think Armstrong played well again. He's pretty much been our only good, consistent player along with Walker Peters this season. But it's so disappointing. As I said, it's so depressing to just have another season of nothingness. Like, when you support a club like Southampton, you want one season where you achieve something to go by. You know, when we got to the uh, EFL Cup final a few years ago, that's something that season was remembered by. 15-16, um, we, we remember by getting sixth and getting into Europe somehow. Um, but again, like you don't really get remembered for finishing sixth. You don't get remembered for finishing in an FA Cup semi final. You're remembered for winning it and getting to the final at least. You know, you're not remembered for finishing in the semi finals, are you? At the end of the day, it's I'm running on a bit now, waffling on a bit, but it's just I. It's not good enough, and I think some big changes need to be made this summer. Just get a few results out in the league, <clears throat> and. Yeah, this next season could be a big one, and I think it could be a turning point. But I thought this was going to be that season where that happened. You know, I've, I've been saying this for the past few years now. Uh, next season, this was going to be about next season. It's never about next season. It's the same old mid-table rubbish, you know. Every season, there's nothing uh, ambitious about this. They just want mid-table. You know, we need to kick on. We saw it. It's 15-16, we finished sixth. We finished, I think, in the top eight for four or five seasons in a row. You know, it's not good enough. And I keep saying this, but it's not. You know, we need to have ambition. Look, uh, the likes of Leicester. Look how they've kicked on since winning the league. They're now in a cup final. They've been in Europe this season. You know, they've been in, they got to the Champions League quarters. It's, I don't know, man. I think, yeah, things need to start off by getting a new owner in, I think. Um, um, and also, I think I might be doing a video on the uh, European Super League soon. Maybe, we'll see. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching today, guys. That was it. Sorry for a bit of the rant video. Waffled on a bit at the end, but it, as I said, it's not good enough, is it? At the end of the day, uh, good luck, Leicester, for the final. Um, should be a good game against Chelsea. Um, but it's just a shame we're not going to be there for the uh, 18th year in a row or 17th year, whatever it is. Uh, yeah, see you guys soon.